And, uh, and we're getting, I see a lot of questions coming in on social media, whether it be the smud guy, PG&E guy, heating and air person. Uh, and a lot of people are saying, gosh, I canceled the appointment because I'm not sure if people should be coming in the house. Uh, how are you approaching this? Um, yeah, I think that when this first started, I think that was the primary concern and still is the primary concern for a lot of homeowners. Um, how we are approaching it is um, every time we go into a home, we're wearing a mask, uh, fresh surgical gloves and shoe covers, obviously using social distancing. And something recently is usually we're doing a lot of our talking at the kitchen table. We're trying to go outside and again, use that social distancing. And that's been a huge benefit the last couple of weeks with this beautiful weather. Um, but those things, just the masks, gloves, and shoe covers, the, the, those mandatory items, and it's not shaking someone's hand when you walk through a door is probably the most awkward change. Um, but but those things are really really what protect you know the client and our teammates and are paramount um, for us going into a home. Has this been difficult? Uh, considering what's going on and we mentioned about people like maybe postponing that appointment or being concerned about that uh, from a business model, speaking for, for everyone maybe in, in, in your line of work or even the SMUD guy, I mean, is, is your in-home visits down 50%? Uh, what would you assign to that? Yeah, I, I would say that uh, we've been pretty fortunate. I think that people, um, once they realize what we're, what we're doing to prepare to go into their home, um, that was my fear is, is calls are going to be down 50, 60 percent. Um, that was not the case. It was really our team, uh, making sure our teammates were confident and um you know, we couldn't, you know, we have multiple meetings each, each week. We couldn't do that. We couldn't get 30 people in a room. So learning how to use virtual meetings to talk to them and educate them when we're all kind of guessing when this first started, we, we didn't have a lot of information. Mm -hmm. So the, the, making sure our teammates felt confident and comfortable was step one. Um, which I thought was, I thought was going to be the opposite. I thought it was going to be the clients The clients uh, I, we saw very few less, less than 10% uh, uh, reschedule rate. It, it was really that first couple of days, making sure that uh, our team felt comfortable going into homes, making sure that we were prepared. We had the tools, um, the protective material. So they felt comfortable going into, into, into people's homes. Yeah. That's interesting. You would say that I had a washing machine go down the other day and the company I called was more interviewing me and concerned about their employees too. Like, okay, what's the situation at your house? Does anyone there have a fever? Anyone there have any of the following symptoms? And I'm like, no, we're good. So it, that does work both ways, right? 100%. Yeah, yeah we, we, uh, we've got to protect each other. It's, 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 uh, it's the, you know, we, the, the client, obviously we're going to do all, our part but also we have to make sure that the, the client does their part, you know, and we, we have to protect um, our teammates and make sure that there's no one symptomatic right. in the home um, and we're putting them at risk. So wow. it is a, a unique, you know, kind of dialogue that happens. But now after a couple of weeks, I think everybody's more prepared and I think it's more regular. People are um, used to being asked those type of questions now. A quick question, Darren, um, what can homeowners do differently to get their home ready during this pandemic? Um, I, I would say just be proactive. I, I know the, the because we're stuck in our home and, and, and but since you're stuck in your home, people are so terrible at changing out their filters. Do that. The number one cause of major um, problems and serious repairs is dirt. So changing out their filters, put it in a bag um, tied up, put in the garbage, but, but mm -hmm. being proactive, I, I can't tell you, um, like right now, I don't know what the temperature is going to be, but it's going to be very, very beautiful. Up and up and um, down, Darren, up and down. All right. Hey, listen, we've got to run. Thank you, Darren. Cool. Great tips. We do You're appreciate welcome. your time. Thank you all Absolutely. for watching Facts Good to Not you. Fear.